will be talking about truth. We live in a world devoid of truth. Many people while searching their way fall into deception. The truth is not found in people. What most people give is their opinion, usually based on their own experiences. Yes, we should seek wise counsel. Yet, we should never rely on man as our source of truth. This world is the devil's playground. There is so much deception. There are outright lies. There are half truths and near truths. Anyone who goes searching for the truth in the world will end up lost and confused. Many people have conformed to the patterns of the world. They do what is considered acceptable by the world. People have gone so far from the truth to the extent that lies are spoken as truth. Some do not even know when they are lying because that is the world's language. We are told we have to do this in order to get that or say this in order to get that. It is a world of deception. It is a world where people have mastered manipulation. It is a world where people have mastered mind games. Some people can throw you into confusion. They test and te- tempt you like a dummy. They say something today, then tomorrow they deny it. They do something, then go on and tell other people they did not do it. It is a world where people love money more than they love God, where people love pleasures and ruin other people's lives on the way. It is a world where people do anything to gain fame and power. Many people are driven by money, lust, wealth, power, people's appraisal, and people's validation. It is a world where people want to be noticed and recognized. It is a world where people abuse each other, mistreat others, wrong others, and bring others down with their words and actions. It is a world of betrayal. Where then do we find the truth? Where is true? What is true in this world? What is important in this world? The truth is only found in God. The word of God is our roadmap. It is our guide. It is our direction in this world. The word of God has life. It is spoken by God and written by men through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. It contains all the truth we will ever need in this journey of life. It is only the truth that sets us free. We are to love one another in both words and actions. We were not born to live for ourselves. We are to love those around us. Anything we say and do should always come from a place of love. In the end, it is not what we do for we did for ourselves that will count. It is what we do for God. Love will always remain. Love is our treasure. God is the one who empowers us. Without him, we are not capable of any good by our own strength. David asks in Psalm 15, O Lord, who shall sojourn in your tent? Who shall dwell in your holy hill? The answer is this, he who walks blamelessly and does what is right and speaks the truth in his heart. He who does not slander with his tongue and does not do evil to his neighbor, nor takes up reproach against his friend. 
in whose eyes a vile person is despised, but who honors those who fear the Lord, who swears to his own heart and does not change, who does not put out his money at interest and does not bribe and does not take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be moved. The only truth is found in God. The Bible tells us to test the spirits. The Holy Spirit reveals truth to us in our everyday life. In a world where we never know who is lying and who is telling the truth, we are to rely only on God. When we develop a relationship with God, He directs our path. Life on earth is to be lived for the honor and glory of God. Without God, life loses meaning. God is truth. Those who love God have the promise of eternal life in heaven. Be blessed.